Welcome back to the Oracle Scroll. Today we're discussing intuition. Hi, I'm Kevin Walder, your host for the Oracle Scroll. And as we continue our journey through the cards of this little deck that I've been playing with, today we're up to card number 10, Intuition. Intuition, or we sometimes might refer to it as spirit. Mm -hmm. We might refer to it as our higher self, um, insight. There are numerous ways of looking at intuition. Intuition, in my view, intuition is where God lives. Our intuition is so full of information, so full of volumes and volumes of information that we can use in directing our lives that all we have to do is tap into it. And recent uh, episodes have dealt with of uh, our intimacy within ourselves. It's uh, also dealt with solitude. Uh, meditation comes into play, but intuition is that's that's where we're headed. That's where we're that's where we're directing our energy is toward our intuition. Now, what do we think about into what does it do? What, what, what is it that that it can do for us? Intuition is that little nagging feeling that you need to call someone to check in on them and then finding out just moments later that they really did need your help just yesterday or just recently when you were thinking about them. We've all had those experiences. That is just a really that's intuition light, let's call it. That is intuition, and that's at work in our lives. But it is far more powerful than just a little insight or a little feeling that we might get. Our intuition is a guide. Some people call it a conscience or consciousness, but Intuition is much deeper than just a knowing or understanding. Sometimes intuition is actually capable of infusing tremendous energy into our efforts. And that is why I call intuition the place where God lives. And every one of us is walking around with it inside of us. We are all walking around with God inside of us. Isn't that kind of amazing? Now, whether you identify it as spirit or God or um, some other designation that you may give it, it all boils down to guidance from within, guidance that we can easily access with just a little practice. And that's one of the things that we need to really dispel right away is that idea that intuition is almost impossible to reach or impossible to trust or there's a, a lot of different barriers that we can put in our way. Um, and there are times when our intuition may be just a bit cloudy. We may not actually have a, a, a solid answer that comes back to us and that's okay too. I've often, I often talk about the fact that sometimes getting an answer is the last thing we need. Sometimes just improving our question is the most important thing we can do for ourselves because it keeps us engaged. It keeps us always working toward a better outcome and we're not being distracted by any of the other little uh, miracles that might happen. And I use that word very sparingly, by the way. Intuition. Intuition is our guide. Intuition will help us to find our way through very difficult situations. 
And actually, it will put on display for us everything we know. And so very much of it, we do not know that we know. There's an old saying, I think, that says something to the effect that I don't understand all I know about it. That's exactly how intuition does approach us. We don't necessarily have to understand totally how it works. We just have to know it's there. And we have to know that it is a power, a power and a powerful source of energy within us, which would allow, allow us to live our lives making good decisions and directing ourselves in ways that we are really impressed with. So, how do we use our intuition for our highest good? Well, the first thing is to take, and this is another thing we've discussed recently in recent episodes, having a daily practice is kind of important in this regard because it gets us used to, and it also gets our intuition used to hearing from us. Uh, that way we are no strangers to it and it is no stranger to us. It is a developing relationship within ourselves so that we are able to ask any question, pose any problem, and we're able to find solutions to places and things that we never ever considered were possible. Intuition can be our guide for every aspect of living. Now, this particular card has a designation of being card number 10, which if we do that uh, added up numerologically, it's a one. One is the beginning point. The aces in the deck are the beginning point. Now, they're not necessarily the beginning of the work. They are the beginning of the concept. They are the beginning of understanding. And then we can take the steps to put them to work. So intuition is the beginning. It's where our mind and our effort come together so that we can create. It is so important to us, and it is actually one of, the, one of the key aspects that designates us as human and able, and will keep us moving in the right direction. Intuition. Let's use it today to accomplish something wonderful. Thank you for joining us for this episode of The Oracle Scroll please stop by my website at kevinwalder.com where you can purchase any of the services that I offer. Also, check out my books, uh, Tarot for Lunch, Lessons from the Cards, and more recently, 22 Teachers, Healing Lessons from the Major Arcana. Both are available at amazon.com, and both are very easily understood and easily followed directions for using the tarot. And most importantly, please subscribe to this channel by clicking the little red button down below and go ahead and click that uh, bell next to it so that you never miss an episode. <music>